I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me. I've had a lot of questions about rooftop tent setups. And I want to share my personal thoughts on my rooftop tent setup with all of you guys. Now, I have had the Yakima Skyrise HD tent setup on my truck for well over a year now. So I've been able to use it in desert, in forest, in rain, in sun, in wind, in pretty much every possible condition. So in this video, I want to give you guys the lowdown on this tent setup, the good, the bad, the ugly, the things I like the things I think Yakima did awesome, and some of the shortcomings. Um, so today, this is gonna be my absolute full-hearted review on the Yakima Skyrise HD tent. Now in this video, my girlfriend and I took a trip to Big Bear for the weekend, totally unplanned, went and found some cool free camping out there. I'm up here with my girlfriend, Amy, she's filming. And, uh, yeah, we're up here in Big Bear for the weekend. We decided to do a little fun camping trip. So far, things have not been going to plan in the slightest bit. So we've had uh, rain, we've had like obscene traffic. So right now we're going to our, what I think should be our campsite. I'm kind of just wildly guessing here. I don't actually have a good plan. Uh, I don't actually have anything set up. We're just gonna try and see if we can find a campsite. But so far it's been absolutely insane. We didn't think it'd be this crowded up here, but it is ridiculously crowded. Um, pouring rain, thunder, lightning. Everyone had the same idea to get away from the heat. Yeah, apparently everyone else was trying to beat the heat up here too. So yeah, hopefully we can find a campsite. We're just cruising out right now. I got a tip off from someone on a cool little GPS pin for a campsite. So right now we're heading out and we'll see what goes on. And that's exactly what I love about this tent setup. It lets you go in with no planning, figure out a cool place to stay, pop up the tent and enjoy. Um, it's awesome because this tent is ready for any kind of weather, any kind of anything you can throw at it, and the setup is really simple. So let's take a little bit of a look at what this setup is. Now at the base of this is the Yakima Outpost HD rack. This is a rack system from Yakima uh, designed for not just tent, rooftop tents, but all kinds of uses, whether you want to carry surfboards, lumber, anything like that. They offer two different versions of this. One is height adjustable, one is not. Um, the one you see in this video is not height adjustable. That is because it sits lower on the cab. Uh, the height adjustable one sits a little bit taller. It's the tent actually sits taller above the roof line of the truck. Now, the plus side though, is that it gives you the ability to put mountain bikes, things like that, more easily under the tent. So if you're looking to do something like that, the height adjustable option is going to be the one for you. The other cool thing about this rack is that it has all kinds of cool modular accessories. So if you notice, mine has two Rota packs on either side I use for clean water. If I wanted to, I could actually mount way more than that. Uh, you can actually mount four per side. Uh, and if you really want to get clever, Rota pack actually sells uh, dual Rota pack mounts. So you could actually probably mount eight on there. Um, you can mount a ton of fluid or you can do recovery tracks, all kinds of things like that. It's a really cool, clever system from Yakima. You can actually, if you're handy with fabrication, pretty much mount anything you want. It's basically a sliding chip design that slides in a rail on the side of the uh, sidebar there, and you can pretty much mount anything you want. So that's really nice. The other part of this tent setup that's cool is the Slim Shady awning. Now this clamps onto the side of the crossbars and is a small awning that pulls out, covers up my you know, chairs, my whole kitchen setup, whatever else I wanna cover up from the sun. It's a really nice little addition uh, to kind of keep the campsite a little bit more nice you know, in the middle of the day when the sun is hot. Now let's talk a little bit about the tent itself. Yakima offers two different sizes of the uh, HD Skyrise. Now, this is the medium that you see in this video. They also have a small. Uh, the medium is made to what they say fit three people. I would say probably fit two in gear. The small is made to fit two people. It's a lot smaller. If you're looking to mount this on a small car, the small is going to weigh in at 95 pounds. The medium that you see in this video comes in at 115 pounds. So it's going to be uh, a little bit bigger, but not much for the additional space that you get. I'm six foot four and I found a ton of room to stretch out in this tent with myself, my gear, my girlfriend, whatever else we have in there. Um, it's plenty roomy. Now, the nice thing about the HD Skyrise as opposed to the traditional Skyrise is that it's made from thicker materials and more waterproof materials. So it's gonna be able to withstand the elements a lot better. I actually had the original Skyrise tent, uh, the base one, but I ended up trading up to the Skyrise HD when they launched that, just so I had something that's a little bit more waterproof, a little bit more windproof, and a little bit more durable when I was camping in inclement weather. Now, what makes the Skyrise HD able to do that is a 600D ripstop polyester fabric that it's made out of that is 3000 millimeter waterproof. Now the tent itself is also waterproof on top of the uh, rain fly that you see in a lot of this video. So you can actually run the rain fly if there's heavy rain, 
But if you wanna take that off, it's a nice summer night and you get surprised by a thunderstorm, the tent itself is still waterproof uh, from dew, things like that. So it's actually a really nice setup. You have the flexibility, but you're always prepared with full waterproof fabric. Now, if you're running on actual dimensions, the medium that I'm using is 96 by 56 inches and the small is 84 by 48. Uh, I would always just say to go with the medium, you have more space, more gear, all that stuff. It really isn't that much of a different weight penalty uh, at 95 versus 115 pounds. Uh, but you get a lot more space out of that tent. Now, the other thing that makes this tent so nice is the two and a half inch thick foam pad on the bottom. Uh, that's gonna be way more comfortable than sleeping on the ground. I did that for way too long with blow up mattresses that you're falling off of that are cold. Um, foam is gonna be nice and warm in cold weather and it's really thick, really comfortable. I sleep like an absolute baby on this tent. And Yakim actually makes uh, full-size sheets for this. You wanna do sheets, or you can do a sleeping bag setup, which is what I normally do. Uh, it can be in a nice warm sleeping bag in the tent. Now, the other cool thing about this tent, again, with the flexibility theme here, is that it has a ton of windows that you can open up. So if it's hot out like it was in Big Red this past weekend, my girlfriend and I had all the windows open. It lets in a ton of light during the day. It also lets in really good airflow at night. Now, if it's pouring rain out and you have to have the rain fly on, the rain fly itself also has skylights in there and it covers up all the windows in the tent. So you can actually still have all the windows open and the skylights uh, shining light through. So you actually get really good light, really good breathability, but you're still fully waterproof. And I can vouch for that. I was in a horrible thunderstorm in Utah in this tent. I stayed cozy and dry. My two friends that were sleeping in a traditional ground tent woke up like drowned rats. The water had run underneath their tent in the rain, soaked them in all their gear, and they were absolutely miserable. So one of the key points about a uh, rooftop tent is that you're off the ground. So if there's rocks, if there's debris, if there's water, all that stuff, you don't have to deal with it. You're up off the ground, you are cozy and comfortable and warm. Now, let's talk about the nitty gritty on this tent. Uh, after having it for about a year and a half, I've kind of learned the ins and the outs of this tent setup. Now, one thing that I really like is the user friendliness of this tent. A lot of other rooftop tents rely on U-bolts to fasten it to the rack. Uh, they rely on funny sized hardware that's all tamper proof, things like that. It just makes it really cumbersome to take on and off of the vehicle. With Yakima setup, they've made it really user friendly. So it's actually completely toolless to take it off the truck. It's just hand clamps with a key on there so it's locked onto the rack. And the rack itself is all just uh, hex key hardware. Uh, again, stuff that they provide as well. And there's locks too to keep it on the truck so no one can steal your stuff. Uh, that right there makes this tent awesome compared to the competition. Now, if you've seen on my social media, I'm constantly pulling this tent on and off and it's really easy to do that. In maybe 20 minutes, I can have the tent off, the rack off, everything totally done. Um, if it wasn't for the tent needing the help of a friend to take off, I could take it off in even less time than that. So it's really cool to be able to have full access to my bed if I need it. Uh, you know, I can take the tent off and I can put it right back on an hour later, super quick, super easy. And so it gives me the flexibility I need to use my truck like a truck, uh, but also be able to camp with it, do adventures, do whatever else I need to do with the tent. Now, the other area that I want to talk about is in terms of like waterproofness, windproofness, all that stuff. I've been in horrible downpours, horrible wind in this tent and the thicker fabric is actually really good at staying quiet in wind at night. Uh, some of the lighter fabric tents uh, will just torment you all night with the wind buffeting. This one does a really good job of staying pretty dang quiet, letting you sleep through the night, even in pretty intense winds. The other thing it does is stay waterproof. So I've had sideways driving rain at this tent. I've had horrible thunderstorms that caught me by surprise. I've stayed warm and dry and cozy in this tent. Uh, me and my friends on the ground did not. So. That's a cool thing about the rooftop tents that I really like. Now, one complaint I have about this tent is that the hardware likes to come loose. Uh, I've noticed that the hardware that attaches the tent to the actual rack attachment points likes to come loose. And then those rack adjusters, there's uh, some hex key bolts that hold those on to the sliding tracks that they're in. Those like to come loose as well. So I've learned that I've had to Loctite all of those. I lost a couple of those bolts, had to source them at a local hardware store. So definitely if you're putting this tent in your truck or car and you're planning to use it off-road, definitely Loctite all of the hardware. Um, it won't really make it that hard to pull off because that hardware is really not coming off, uh, but it'll keep the tent firmly secured. You won't be losing hardware and stuff on the side of the road and having to source it at a random hardware store. So learn from my mistakes there. Aside from that, I actually really don't have a lot of complaints. I feel like Yakima did a really good job of making this tent consumer friendly, but also totally pro grade. You know, I wouldn't use this to camp in sub-Saharan Africa for six months, right? I'd use something like a hard shell tent or something like that. But what this tent does is it makes it perfect for someone like me 
who's looking to camp for like a week to, you know, a weekend, something in that range. I might get stuck with inclement weather, something like that, but I have the ability to know that I'm prepared for all that and still have a user-friendly, easy to set up tent that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So that's pretty cool. The other thing they did is a really good job of thinking through the whole ecosystem. Everything from the shoe rack that goes on the side of the tent when you climb up to the ladder that's an accessory to the sun belt, which is an LED strip that goes on the roof to light up the tent at night to the rack, to the, the Slim Shady awning, everything. It's all really well thought out as a cohesive system so you can mount whatever accessories you need for whatever you're trying to do. Uh, there's a lot of other tents basically that rely on you buying someone else's rack, someone else's this, someone else's that, and you have to mix all these parts together and things don't really work super well. You have to you know, find custom solutions, things like that. With the Yakima setup, everything's just plug and play. Uh, so that is something I really, really like about this setup. Now, for anyone wondering about cost, um, none of this stuff is cheap, uh, but comparatively to a lot of the other RTT market, it's actually pretty affordable. The Skyrise medium tent that you see here in this video is 2,200 bucks. The Outpost HD rack is 749. The Overhaul HD, if you want to use that, that's the height adjustable one, is 949. The sidebars are an additional 219. Uh, and then there's a couple other accessories you want to do like the Rotopax mounts, those are like 29 bucks each, things like that. You can go crazy with all the accessories on Yakima's website, but the basic pricing is what I mentioned there. And while it sounds like a lot, it's actually pretty reasonable compared to a lot of the other RTT market, especially given the user friendliness and how nice this tent is. So. Overall, I've been pretty happy with my purchase with this setup. Um, it was something that I thought about for a long time and finally just bit the bullet on, and I'm really glad I did it. It's let me be able to go camping a lot more easily. You know, I don't have to put as much planning in. Uh, pretty much all my gear is just in bins and my tent's already on my truck and I just go. I don't have to worry about if I forgot the tent stakes. I don't have to bring a shovel to clear out the spot underneath my tent. I can pretty much just go wherever I need to go, set up camp and enjoy. Um, so I really like the comfort, the flexibility, the durability, all that stuff about this setup. It just makes camping more pleasant. Uh, and so I think this is a really cool setup if you're looking to get into the RTT market. Uh, this is a really user-friendly, awesome setup to start your experience with. Or even if you used a bunch of the other RTDs on the market, you'll notice that this one is a lot more user-friendly, a lot better ecosystem around it, and it's just a really well thought out, well done tent. So kudos to Yakima for making a cool product. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this setup, let me know uh, down in the comments. I will happily answer. Uh, I appreciate all of your guys' support on this channel. And uh, if you have any video ideas, please let me know. I've got a bunch of stuff planned, but I'm always looking for more ideas. So thank you guys so much, and I will catch you uh, on the next video.